Hey guys, so today's video is gonna be a day in my life sort of video. You guys probably recognize my outfit from my room tour video like opening because this is the same day I've filmed that opening. Today I wanted to do like a day in my life video where you guys kind of get a sneak peek into my life and what a day when I'm filming looks like. I'll go ahead and film three videos today. So I'm gonna show you guys kind of like an insight a behind the scenes of what a filming day looks like for me. So I just finished making the opening for that video as well as the actual room tour. I'm gonna go ahead and change into a different outfit to do the opening for the room makeover video. Typically I do the openings and endings for videos on one day and very separate from the actual video. For example, like when I do a room makeover video, it takes me maybe a couple days or one entire day to really plan and film the whole decoration process, the whole makeover process. So typically I like to separate like the opening of a video and then the actual like base of the video, you know, two different days because I cannot squeeze in, you know, it all in one day so that is why I am filming the opening for the room makeover video I think at the time I post this vlog you guys would have already seen the other two videos the room tour video and the room makeover video so go ahead and click somewhere up here to check out those videos but anywho this is the behind the scenes and it's also gonna be like a vlog so you guys can get to see what I'm doing today is let me grab my phone today is August 28th, so Sunday, August 28th. Typically, I'll film videos on the weekends, um, so today just happens to be one of those days that I'm filming. Sometimes I'll film on the weekdays, but it just so happened that I'm filming on a Sunday. Currently 1.52, I typically try to film when the sun is quite bright. Sometimes I'll get ideas for videos by like, you know, five or something, but you know, the sun has gone down or the sun is going down and there's not as much light, so I try to make sure that the light is the best and I don't use any other lights, I just use natural light because I have like my windows right behind the camera so I get some nice light in my room. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and change and do the opening for the room makeover video and then I'll see you guys when I'm done with that. So I just changed into my new outfit and here I'm holding little Rilakkuma. I just had like a mini photo shoot because I haven't really updated or posted anything on Instagram, like pictures to be specific. But anyhow, I'm holding little Rilakkuma because today I'm gonna be watching the Rilakkuma show. They made the first season that was on Netflix so I'll show you guys right here. I loved it. It was so, so cute. So I'm so excited for this second season. Rilakkuma is one of my favorite Sonic characters. As you guys can see, I have my little Rilakkuma plushie. So I really wanted to make like a little photo shoot. And you know, I'm going to go ahead and film the room and makeover opening. But I wanted to show you guys my outfit. Okay, so this is my outfit. I just moved Rilakkuma so you guys can get a better look of what I'm wearing. So I'm wearing a white button-up shirt, a really cute red bow. And then oh, also, I got this off of Amazon if you guys are wondering. I love getting bows from Amazon. Amazon, they're really um, inexpensive and affordable and they look so much like the bows from Gonomi which is like a really cool shop that sells Japanese school uniforms. They're quite pricey because the quality is really really good. If you guys are looking for like some inexpensive like kawaii bows for like your cute preppy outfits then go ahead and look up Amazon. And then I'm wearing this really cute cardigan that I got from Yes Style. You guys can go ahead and click on this video where I kind of show the haul. I recreated some looks inspired by like some cool like live action Japanese film. So that's where I kind of got to show you guys this look. I'm in this cardigan. And then I'm wearing this dark blue A-line skirt. And then I'm wearing my white thigh high socks here as well as these really cute like preppy looking shoes with a little heel on them. So anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and film that part of the video, the whole room makeover opening, and then I'll be back with you guys. Alrighty guys, so I just finished making the opening for the room makeover video. So this is like the full outfit you guys can see. You guys saw the footage earlier. I showed you guys like kind of a full look, more depth look of what I was wearing, like the full outfit. Um, I did a little photo shoot, then I did this opening, and then now I'm kind of filming for you guys for this vlog. So I just finished that. Typically I try to get as much as I can for my, all my my social media accounts in one day so I think I have some pictures that I'll be using for Instagram and then obviously the opening for um, the room makeover video that I did right now I'm really inspired by Dakota Rose I love her like how I hairstyle videos so I want to recreate a hairstyle video that she did I filmed that video two times already and I just wasn't happy with it so this is my third time hopefully this third time is the winner hopefully I'm happy with that one I am a complete perfectionist I need to make sure that my content is a hundred percent like amazing in my eyes 
eyes, which can be a good thing, but it can also be a bad thing because this is my third time doing it. So hopefully I don't have to make this video again the fourth time, but we'll see. Um, it's still a lot of fun for me and each time I keep like perfectioning the hairstyle, so I guess it works out. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do that video. I'm gonna go ahead and change and then when I'm done with the hairstyle, you guys can see it. But yeah, I'm doing a lot today. This is typically what I do. I'll show you guys in a little bit, but I typically like, I will have my wardrobe out whenever I film my video. So the day before I will plan what I'm gonna be making, what kind of videos I'm gonna be filming that specific day. And then I plan out my outfits for the videos because of course I love kawaii fashion. I really wanna show you guys my different kawaii fashion skills and maybe give you guys some ideas whenever I make videos. Of course I want it to go really well with the kawaii aesthetic so I try to look as kawaii as possible. And so I do plan the outfits beforehand. I did have three outfits planned today. So typically I'll just pick out like the top. Um, right now I'm wearing some yoga pants so I'm not wearing anything too cute. But it typically it's just the top part because that's what people will be seeing, my top half here. So all I really need to focus on but yeah just like a little inside scoop a little behind the scenes in case you guys had no idea yeah I typically really make as many videos as I can in one day because the whole editing process is typically what takes me the longest time to do and I I'm a very creative person so I do like to go you know take my time when I'm editing a video and add as many interesting and unique elements that I can to make a video much more interesting so yeah but I'm gonna go ahead and change and then start the hairstyle video and then when I am done with the hairstyle I'll show you guys what I came up with the videos I did today. So I did three videos. So that's why I have three different tops that I wore for today's different videos. So typically I will, like I told you guys earlier, I'll plan out my outfits the day before. Typically it's just the top because all you guys see is my top half. And so here these outfits are more like preppy. So I'm not supposed to say for you inspired. And then this one is just more of like a girly dolly look. So this is pretty much what I have laid out here. Now I'm going to go ahead and like clean up my room essentially. And so now it's the cleaning process. But anywho, this is literally it. This is all I have here. Once I'm done cleaning, I'm going to go ahead and have some lunch because I'm really, really hungry. But yeah, I'll see you guys in a little bit once I actually start eating. So as you guys know, I was very, very hungry. I had done quite a few videos and I think I ended up having lunch pretty late, but I ended up eating a sandwich. And of course, as you guys know, I love putting my food on these cute plates. My mom had made some fresh strawberry juice, so that's what I had to drink. And I ate that and I started watching some um, Venus Angelic videos. Her videos are so cute. These are just like her older videos and she's one of my biggest inspirations. I love her kawaii aesthetic and her style is so cute. So I just started watching some videos for inspiration. I just love her her videos i feel like her editing is so good her videos were so cute and she's very talented from a youtuber to another youtuber i feel like her editing skills are really really good i mean i could really see the effort that she put into her videos but anywho that's pretty much what i did while i ate my food I was actually craving some cookies, so my sister started to make some of these sugar cookies. We were trying to recreate these cookies that you see right here on the screen. It was kind of hard to make. We didn't really know how to make the frosting, and I don't know, but it was good anyways. Um, we did try to like sort of decorate it and make it look cute, but this isn't the sort of cookies that my sister. I think my, I don't think my sister has ever done these cookies before, so I think we kind of struggled a little bit. I was trying to help her out, but I'm not very good at baking at all. So if she's struggling, then you can tell I would struggle with these cookies. But anywho, the cookies were still really really tasty, so I. Quite Quite enjoyed them. Then started watching the new Rilakkuma show, Rilakkuma and Kaoru. I had seen the first season with my sisters a couple years ago, I believe, or was it last year? I'm not sure when it, the other season came out. But this one, so this one is, I think, the, the amusement park version of it. So this, I think, it's a total of like eight episodes, I believe and they are going into the amusement park all these eight episodes happen at the amusement park and there's a bunch of stuff that happened and i'm not going to spoil for you guys you guys can go ahead and watch it but i highly recommend you guys to check it out it is so so cute i mean we have a bunch of sonic's characters like Rilakuma and koi Lakuma and the little chicken i think it's called kiritori i have no idea how you say it i'm so sorry but it's just all the characters are adorable it's so cute and i just i love it highly recommend you guys to check it out 
So my sister is really good at baking. She loves making kawaii baking. She's really interested in like the Japanese Western style baking. And as you guys can see here, she was making some cookies. She made a variety of different cookies. These were sugar cookies, I believe. And she made them in different shapes. And so here you guys are seeing her kind of like make the batter for that. And now you guys will see in a little bit, she does make these checker cookies which I feel like they're very common in anime. I feel like a lot of girls in anime will like give them to their crushes on Valentine's Day. And I just feel like I, whenever I see this cookie, it reminds me so much. I, just, I call it personally the anime cookie. And it's so, so cute. And actually not as difficult as you would think to make. I made them myself before, but my sister is really talented. She made it from scratch. I've done these cookies before, but they've, I've used the box, you know, cookie dough, and then I made them. It works just fine as well, but she is so talented and she made a bunch of different like kawaii cookies. So this is just like a little montage of her making these cookies. So this is actually filmed the next day. Uh, it's kind of like a weekend in my life. So this is where the whole vlog vibe comes into place. So I had some almond milk and I ate some French toast that I made myself. I like to put my food on some cute platters that are very, very cute. I just love eating with cute plates and cute like cutlery because it just makes it like extra cute. And I don't know, it just makes me a lot happier and really helps me romanticize my life a lot. So this is my outfit for today. I'm gonna go ahead and do a couple, a bit of shopping. I'm not gonna do anything too exciting, but I really wanna show you guys my kawaii outfit for today it is super super hot it's been super hot lately i don't know why it's like the change from you know the summer to autumn but it's just been super hot and so i wanted to wear something that was kawaii but yet still summery so i'm wearing this really cute sort of like sailor top it is a navy blue color i got this at a thrift store in japan it was from the shop called closet child and then i decided to wear this really cute skirt this is a navy skirt that i also got from closet child and then i'm also going to be wearing my cute little duffy bag because i felt it worked really well with the color scheme and it really reminds me of tokyo disney sea so i felt like it worked really well for like this navy blue color scheme that i was going for so it's just a bag and i'm going to go ahead and put my camera in here because i want to do a little bit of a vlogging not too much just a little bit and then here i have my cute socks these have like a really nice detail to them. I love wearing socks as accessories. If you want to make an outfit look extra kawaii, definitely add some cute socks to it. It'll definitely make it look extra cute. And I'm gonna wear my typical like schoolgirl shoes like Mary Jane's and that's gonna pretty much be the full outfit. Oh, and the back looks like this, guys. It's so cute. It says daydream. It is just adorable. So this is definitely a perfect like summer kawaii outfit. Alrighty guys, I'll go ahead and see you once I start vlogging and I'm fully ready for the day. I ended up going to do some errands. My family and I ended up eating at In-N-Out, which they have really good hamburgers. And then we ended up going to Costco because my mom needed to get some stuff. Whenever I go to Costco, I always like to look for whatever Japanese foods they have. They did sell these snacks that you can find in Japan. These little chocolate snacks, they're very, very tasty. And after that, we ended up going to Michael's and um, I was looking through the stuff. My mom loves going here because she's a very creative person. Look guys, they have really cute ribbon. I think these are perfect for kawaii hairstyles. If you guys are looking for like easy ways to, you know, make your hairstyle look a lot cuter, then definitely get some ribbon. If you live in the US, then definitely check out a Michael's. They have so many different types of colored ribbon. I tend to gravitate more towards the pink. This one's on clearance. This one is a dollar. It's so cute, guys. I prefer like the pastel pink or the baby pink over the hot pink. I don't really like to go for that. But they have red ribbon, orange ribbon, yellow, green, 
different shades of green essentially. Pastel blue, which is another color that I tend to gravitate towards. Like this one is really, really pretty. This one with gingham is so cute, guys. This lavender one is so cute. My sister's looking at the cream one here. This ones are really pretty. Oh, this is ivory, actually. Really cute. This is a white one right here. I don't really like to go for these ones because they're very thin and they're very sheer, so they don't really show up as well. But yeah. So it's been a few days since I filmed my other videos, but it is probably like the following week. But I wanted to show you guys another more behind the scenes. So this is a fashion lookbook inspired by Dakota Rose's outfits. I love her fashion style. I really seem to like that video. I did another video where I created some outfits. Yes, I was clothing. I created some outfits inspired by Dakota Rose. If you like that video, I'll link it somewhere up here so you guys can check it out. But I wanted to do another one because I love her fashion style. And you guys also seem to like her fashion style as well. So this is sort of like a behind the scenes um, of the outfits. So by the time I post the vlog, um, I think this video would have already come out. So you guys can see the outfits. So this is the Seifuku outfit that she wore here. I'll input the image. This one I'm kind of debating on what I'm going to be, you know, putting things together um, because I, I, I thought this color was going to work well with this, but they're different. This is more of like a cool purple pink and this is more of like a warm tone peachy pink. So we'll see, but I'll insert the image of what I was trying to recreate here. Then there is this outfit, which I think I think I nailed this pretty well. I think it looks really similar to what she wears. And then this outfit is not inspired by Dakota Rose. It's just a kawaii outfit. Um, I'll input the image of what I was inspired by. It was literally just like a ball jointed doll. But this outfit is so, so cute. So I kind of tried to recreate it in the best way that I could. And then on this side, which is my twin sister side of the room, um, I put some stuff on her bed because I have too many outfits that I was going to pick out for today. But this outfit is inspired by this look that you probably have seen in her fashion lookbook video. It looks like this and I'll insert the image here. I think it's really cute. Of course, I have to add the extra accessories and things like that. But this is sort of like what I tend to do. I just before I plan things out, I just kind of lay things out on there. And then here I have another outfit inspired by one of her looks from her fashion lookbook video. I'm trying to debate what, what shorts I'll be using because I couldn't find the exact shorts that she has. And then this is just like another option for a top. So I'm right outside my bedroom door and my dogs are right here. <laughs> here's Mochi and here's Coco. Hi baby. They like like to be really close to my family and I like. I just finished making a video but they wanted to go inside my room. But I don't let them because they tend to like jump on my bed and their hands tend to be like really dirty because they're always in our backyard. And I don't want to get our bed sheets dirty. They always go to my sister's bed but here they are the cuties. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel to become part of the Kawaii family. I'm working really hard to reach 3K subscribers, so if you guys can subscribe, that would mean a lot to me. This video was filmed a couple months ago. Uh, I think I filmed this all in August, but I really wanted to gather some footage so I can show you guys a little bit of the behind the scenes. I'm sure you guys will recognize some of the videos already based on what I'm wearing. I will link the videos description box below in case you guys are curious in seeing what these videos that I was working on are. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's been a while since I've done a vlog, so I really wanna show you guys a vlog for today and just show you guys kinda of like behind the scenes of what I typically do when I'm filming a video, how I prepare for it. It's not all the work that I do, but it is just a small portion of what I typically do when I'm you know, working on YouTube videos. I really hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye bye. I did find some really cool DIY ideas online from some amazing creators, some things on Pinterest as well. <laughs> a bit of country accent here. But I am doing a blog to pretty much practice my Japanese, my like writing skills in Japanese. So if you guys are practicing Japanese and want to read some Japanese. I said that so many times. Um, okay. But these are, uh, but I did, but I did, I did what?